So, um, well, I um, would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone from, for coming. I, um, I didn't imagine that I'd be sitting right next to that video when you all <laughs> watched it, um, but I've survived. Um, so I'm, my name is James Sharp. I'm the acting coordinator of the Systems Biology Program here at the CRG. And uh, this is the 12th annual symposium of the CRG. And I'd like, I'm very happy to see so many people here, especially the fact that we have 50% um, of people coming from outside our institute, from outside the CRG, and 15 from outside of Spain who have come here for the meeting. So um, thank you very much all for coming. Um, so what are we going to hear about over the next two days? Obviously, I, I probably don't have to say so much because of this video that just ran. Um, but I want to start with a quote, um, a quote from one of the most quotable people in molecular biology, of course, uh, Sidney Brenner, who said a while back, in one way, uh, this was his opinion about molecular biology, in one way, you could say all the genetic and molecular biological work of the last 60 years could be considered a long interlude. We've come full circle back to the problems left behind unsolved. How does a wounded organism regenerate exactly the same structure it had before? How does the egg form the organism? Uh, we, can ask, we can add many other questions into this kind of quote, biological questions like how does the immune system get the right balance between attacking versus tolerating antigens, or how does a neural network make decisions? So he went on, in the next 25 years, we're going to have to teach biologists another language. I don't know what it's called yet. Nobody does. This is because this was a quote from the early 70s. So it turns out his, his timing was probably quite accurate. He was predicting in 25 years, and it was roughly 25 years that this new phrase, systems biology, started to become popular. And although it's probably composed of many other sort of sub-languages like complexity theory or dynamical systems theory, this is the new kind of language that, um, that we're trying to grapple with here. So what we'll hear about over the next two days won't focus on a particular biological system or a particular biological process. Instead, it's really about this kind of new language. And what I would argue is that um, this language, whose kind of existence or necessity was already predictable a long time ago, we're only just, you know, we've, we've found a name for the language, but we're really just making the very first steps. I mean, this is the beginning of a journey. And so the talks that you'll hear today are really sort of pioneering work that is making the first steps in this. This is not to be negative that we, we've got so far to go. Of course, it means it's a very, very exciting time to do biology in general. So without further ado, I want to introduce the first speaker. And um, it's a great pleasure to introduce um, Dennis Bray. I'm sure to many of you he will need no introduction. So I'm only going to comment on two aspects that, uh, of his career that should be um, well known. The first is I'm sure many of you, and I hope many of you, recognize this book. This is actually my copy from my undergraduate days that I found this morning from 1989. Um, the second edition, it's Molecular Biology, the Cell, described as um, the most influential cell biology textbook of its time. And Dennis Bray is one of the original authors of this book. His influence, therefore, has been very great. And the second thing, though, which is more relevant to this meeting, is what he moved into after contributing to this book or starting this book in the 90s, when he switched from experimental work to purely computational work on um, modeling chemotaxis in bacteria. And this has also been very um, influential and um, uh, prestigious work. In fact, he won a prize from the Royal Society and Acad Academy of the Sciences in 2006, which specifically recognizes major contributions to the advancement of science through computational methods at a European level. So this is the work which is more relevant to our meeting here. And um, without any further comments, I will hand over to the first speaker of our symposium. Thank you.